Yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day filled with only positive vibes. Today we got a great comparison video. As you guys may know, there is a new season coming along and with that there is some new changes. Noticeably the first change that we can actually test is the 10 millimeter. Apparently there was a change towards that in damage. The one that I kind of noticed was the slight boost within one to, I think it was like eight or nine meters. It did 26 damage or might've been 27. I'm pretty sure it was 26 damage from the chest and above the hands will stay about the same at 22 this is important because you can four tap even if you hit once in the hand before if you hit the hands once and then the chest three times no matter what it's going to be a five uh why did i do like this five tap but now you're going to get a four tap however it's going to stay the same if you hit the hand up to i think 17 meters it's still going to be a five tap so today we decided to compare both of them the 10 millimeters to the 45 round mag we're gonna have the same build the only difference is the mag change and then we're gonna compare them at the end you guys will let me know in the comments down below what you guys think and again this is all going to be from my live stream trouble.live slash the hitman or youtube.com slash the hitman live it's gonna be the first pinned comment if you want to check it out so hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video and if you do i'll see you guys at the end we're gonna go we're gonna do two games of the each so i think this one will do the um we'll do 45 first and then we'll do one more game but only this gun, we're not gonna switch in between. I keep forgetting to put Molotovs, but it doesn't matter. I'm not planning on using it. So many people there. The heck? Oh my God. I knew I was gonna run out of bullets. I just potatoed really hard. Contact with enemy. Nice. It's gonna be a couple guys down here, right? Nice. Yeah, 45 bullets helped in that in that fight there. Um, I I should have turned to the guy on my right and said. Nice. We just put the shield down so that we don't have to worry about the... Nice. Nice. There we go. Coming for C, dude. Nice. Do like the 45 mag though. Shield down. Nice. This guy upstairs? Still have a UAV. Oh! I have 19 bullets. I got a sentry gun for next half! Like I said, I really much like the 45 mag, personally speaking, but that's just me. That's just me. I do love my 45 mag a lot. Probably could beat some guys on top. No! Oh my god. What were the odds? Really? Oh. As reloading. There we go. Let's finish this B cap real quick. Uh, never mind. I was hoping, you know. I was hoping. Good B cap here. Teammate got him. 
Okay, there we go. Oh my god, DRH. Nice, nice. I got it, boy. Give me a big guy right here. There you go. There you go. There you go. Hunter Killer Drone's about to kill me. Did I get that kill? What the heck? Well, we're about to win. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, oh. Bro, 39 and 10 with this build. I think, as it speaks, I like this one a little bit better than 10 millimeters. I almost dropped a nuke. I think I choked it. I don't know what I was on chat, but I definitely choked it. But 39, yeah, we went 39 and nine. So for this build, it was, not bad. So we're gonna try the next build on the next game. Hopefully it's the same map. The other QQ9 build because Standoff and um, Summit are very similar when it comes together. So we'll use the um, the 30 mag and we'll be able to compare which one's better. It's kind of hard to beat the other. I don't think the 10 millimeter is worth it in my opinion. It just, you lose so much and it, it doesn't feel good. Like the, the lower rate of fire just feels weird to me personally speaking. There's a few people over there. That was funny. I kind of want to pick up someone's gun. I don't know if I wanted his, but what else? Where's this guy? I'm out. Oh, I knew this guy on my left. Should have killed the guy on the left first. There you go. Got him off B. Come on, get on point with me, please. Anybody. Thank you. I'm not gonna lie. This 10 million kind of feels okay with this build. Especially if you hit shots. Oh my god. Of course I get shot on the side too, right? I didn't I shouldn't have reloaded. That's a downside, right? Like you lose out on your potential shots that you can kill afterwards. Yeah, I think the best way to use the shield nowadays is to, to do it in reverse. So like if you're here. Right? Oh my god. Now they can't they can't they can't get C because I'm just gonna burn them. Alright, good half. It really depends on the angle you put it at, right? You gotta make sure it's in front so you just burn people because that shit lasts forever. What are we at? 20 and 5. Jesus. Cause that makes it more fun. Don't get shot on the back, please. Thank you. Don't get shot. Oh. There we go. They're spawning. There we go. Honestly, this 30 mag is not bad at all. Not bad at all. Oh, Annihilators. Wait, 26 and 7. Enemy contact. Gravity spikes. That's funny. You just gotta aim higher. Obviously, that's the main spiff. Where are they spawning? Let's go upstairs, right? There we go. Where's this guy? Where's the sniper dude? Sniper dude. 
Oh, dang, one health. 32 and 8. Jesus. But not only that. Reloading, cover me. That would have been a kill. Which build do you guys think is better? Build one or two? Because the first game, we did pretty well. The second game did pretty, pretty well as well. Both games were really good. But obviously, the first game was a lot better because it was... It was still Summit, right? Both maps are very similar. This standoff map is very, very similar. I don't know, which one Which one do you guys think you like better? I'll show you guys both builds. They're literally the same exact builds. Both of them are exactly the same, right? When it comes to everything, the only difference is one of them has the 45 mag, the other one has the uh, 10 mag. So this is the one that we just used right now with the 10 mag. It has the monolithic, the tactical barrel, the no stock, the ranger foregrip, and the 10 millimeters. And then the other one that we were using before the first game was this one, which is the monolithic tactical ranger, no stock, but we had the 45 mag. Um, so personally, I, I personally like the 45 mag. It gives me an opportunity to get three kills, four kills in a row. I honestly think that rate of fire is better because I mean, a 10 millimeter is cool and you can four tap up to what? I think it was like 17 meters, but it's not really realistic, realistic. Because you're going to hit the hand once. Almost 95% of the chance you're going to hit the hand once. So when you hit the hand once, it becomes a 5 tap. I'd much rather have the consistency of the 45 mag, the 45 bullets, the um, the ADS speed, the faster rate of fire. So honestly, that's my opinion. But that's all the builds that we got. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below which one do you guys prefer. Personally speaking, 45 mag is the one for me. I am such a big potato that I have to miss those few shots. Also, I like the opportunity that I can potentially kill three to four people with one mag. Personally speaking, but could be different for you guys. Let me know what you guys think. All right, I'm out. See you guys next time. Kill it.